Welcome to homecampus.com.sg. Let's solve this word problem. It says that following ingredients are used to make strawberry shake for four children. Eight cups of milk, two cups of strawberries, four cups of ice cubes. What are the quantities of each ingredient that you will need to make strawberry shake for seven children? All right, so what we know is that we are going to need these ingredients in these quantities for making strawberry shake for four children and we have to find out how much each of these we're going to need for making strawberry shake for seven children all right now there are a few methods that you can use to solve this problem you could use the ratio method you could use the model method or uh, you know you could use even the uh, fraction method but here what i'm going to use is i'm going to use maybe a few of them so first of all let's uh, draw a model diagram and try to understand this problem all right so we have uh, eight cups of milk that we will need for four children okay so eight cups of milk let's draw that eight cups of milk so if this is my milk and this is the entire amount, which is eight cups. Okay, and that's for four children. Then if I divide this into eight units, then each unit would be one cup, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide this into eight equal units. And each unit is then equal to one cup. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So here's my eight cups of milk or eight units of milk. And that's for four children. All right. Now let's also make two cups of strawberries. So since each unit over here is equal to one cup, so I simply copy two of these and put here because that would be two cups and two cups of strawberries. All right. So I put the two cups here. And this is my strawberries. So I write down strawberries here. This is strawberries. Okay, and that's two cups. Uh, ice cubes. Okay, so I need four cups of ice cubes as well. So I'm simply going to copy four cups from here and paste. So here is my four cups of ice cubes. All right. So this is my ice cubes. Okay, now what I know is that all this is for four children, right? So if all of this is for four children, then how much of it is for one child? Now let's see, we have eight cups of milk or eight units for four children. So four children get eight units and how much does each child get? Well, it's simply eight divided by four. So each child gets all of this divided into four parts. So each child gets this one part that I'm marking in brown so each child gets this much right so this is how much each child gets and this is equal to two units so each child gets this one brown block so this is child number one he gets this one brown block and this brown block is equal to two cups right so this brown block is equal to two cups similarly the second child get these two cups the third child gets these two cups and the fourth child gets the last two cups now that's for milk okay how about for strawberries well we do a similar thing with strawberries for strawberries what we have is we have two units and we have four children so two units and four children then how much does each child get well each child will obviously get two units divided by four right that many so two units divided by four is going to give you half so each child gets just half a unit so each child gets half of this so for child number one this is how much child number one gets right so this is how much child number one gets and this is equal to half a cup right so child number one needs two cups of milk and half a cup of strawberries now how about ice cubes well there are four units and four children so it's quite simple here each child gets one cup so this is how much child number one gets this is how much child number two gets this is how much child number three gets and this is how much child number four gets so each child gets or actually each child is going to need one cup of ice cubes so we figured out how much each of the ingredients each child is going to need so each child is going to need two cups of milk so we put two cups of milk here and each child is going to need half a cup of strawberries so we put that one here and each child is also going to need one cup of ice cube so we put that one cup of ice cubes so two cups of milk half a cup of strawberries and one cup of 
ice cube. That's how much each of the ingredients you're going to need for one child. Okay, this is just for one child. So if this is how much each child is going to need, then how many seven children are going to need all together? Well, seven children are going to need all of this times seven. So if one child needs two cups of milk, then seven children are going to need two times seven cups of milk. And that's equal to 14 cups of milk. Okay. If one child is going to need half a cup of strawberries, then seven children are going to need seven times half a cup of strawberries. So seven times half, how much is that equal to? Well, seven times half is simply seven upon two or it's equal to three and a half, right? So seven children are going to need altogether three and a half cups of strawberries. So three and a half cups of strawberries and 14 cups of milk. How about ice cubes? Well, ice cubes is simple. Seven times one. So seven cups of ice cubes. So the quantities of each ingredient that you will need to make strawberry shake for seven children is 14 cups of milk, three and a half cups of strawberries and seven cups of ice cubes. All right, so that's just one method. Let me show you another method, okay? So I'm gonna clear all this and get me a new slate. All right, now let's use the method of ratios to get the answer. So what we know is that four children are going to need milk, strawberries, and ice cubes in the ratio of eight to two, to four because eight cups of milk, two cups of strawberries and four cups of ice cubes. That's for four children. Okay, so if four children are going to need milk, strawberries and ice cubes in the ratio eight to two to four, then how much is each child going to need? Well, each child is going to need each of these divided by four, right? Each of these divided by four. So the milk divided by four, the strawberries divided by four, and the ice cubes also divided by four. Because the number of children is also divided by four, right? So this is also divided by four. So now what we have is we have one here, one child. Okay, so one child is going to need eight divided by four, which is two. Okay, and then we have two divided by four for the strawberries. So that's two upon four and two upon four is equal to half. Okay, and then the ice cubes is four divided by four is one. All right, so what we have figured out is the quantities of each of the ingredients for a single child. Now, for a single child, we have two to half to one, right? Now that's for one child. But if we had seven children, then how much will we need? Well, all you do is you multiply the children by seven. So what you get is you get seven children. So for seven children, you're going to need everything times seven. So the milk times seven, the strawberries times seven, and the ice cubes also times seven. Now two times seven is 14. Half times seven is seven upon two or three and a half. And one times seven is seven. So there you go. The quantities of each of the ingredients that you will need to make strawberry shake for seven children is 14 cups of milk because, you know, all these ingredients are in cups. All these ingredients have a unit of cups. Then you need 14 cups of milk, three and a half cups of strawberries and seven cups of ice. So there you go. That's method number two. And method number two gave you the same answer as method number one, 14, three and a half and seven. And you have the same answer here, 14, three and a half and seven. All right, so those were the two methods for you. There are other methods as well. For example, you could use the fraction method. You could figure out the relation between four and seven, and then you could use that fraction or that relation to figure out the quantities of each of these ingredients. Well, that's the beauty of maths. No matter which method you use or which method you prefer, you still get to the same answer. All right, so that's that about this word problem. Do go visit www.homecampus.com.sg for some other word problems and also to see how good you're getting at math. This is M signing off for now. Bye-bye.